Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the newest rendition of Podcast in the Park, what we're calling version 2.0 here, uh, the podcast for Deer Park Community City Schools. I'm Director of Communications, Jake Snyder. To my right is Superintendent Jay Phillips. Jay, thanks for joining us today. Absolutely. Glad to be here. Well, as you can see, uh, you can see us. Um, and as we embark on a new rendition of Podcast in the Park here, uh, we're looking for the best and most innovative ways uh, to keep our district informed on all things happening here in Deer Park. And uh, we've decided to move this to video. So uh, we hope you like it. Well, let's get right into things, Mr. Phillips. Uh, this past month was a big one over at Amity Elementary uh, as we hosted the Topping Out Ceremony. Uh, it signifies the end of uh, phase two uh, for the Amity project. So um, just kind of tell us a little bit about what a Topping Out Ceremony is and then uh, how the day went. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first of all, we had a great day. Um, we had to move the Topping Out Ceremony. It was originally scheduled for one o'clock. Moved it up to, I believe it was 10 a.m. to try to beat the rain on that day, but ended up being perfect. It was 60 degrees outside. And it was just really a great day. We had all of our students from Amity Elementary come out along with our staff, uh, our design team that's really helped in the design of the building. They were there. A lot of them were there. Um, we also had our bond committee, some of our bond committee there as well, who really helped to get the bond off the ground and, and get it passed um, here in the community so that we could do this building. Uh, the, the topping out ceremony itself is really, uh, it's customary when you finish actually putting the roof on the, the new construction. That last beam that goes in uh, at the end of what you call phase, what we're calling phase two, um, is signifying the end of that part of the project. And now they're going to move under roof and start doing all the inside pieces of the new construction. But on that last beam, we had our staff, we had our students at Holmes Elementary and Amity Ele Elementary sign the, actually sign the beam. Um, and then there was uh, some of our administration signed the beam as well. And it, it's just pretty cool and symbolic because, you know, that beam will be, then be tucked away inside that building forever with a, a little piece of all of us as part of it. So it's pretty cool. I, you know, I think the kids really loved it. There was a drone f flying around that was taking, that the drone was taking some footage of the ceremony. I think the kids really thought that was cooler than anything else. Um, <laughs> but it was a great day and it was a great morning. And, uh, you know, I just want to thank HGC, our contractor, and SHP, our architect as well, for really helping us to organize and set up that event. It was a, a great day for the Deer Park community. Absolutely, Mr. Phillips. And uh, as we look towards the future here in the park, uh, you know, we've been working hard on uh, some strategic planning that you've talked about in our podcast in the past. Um, give us a little bit of an update on where we're at on that uh, and uh, what, we're, what we're looking at moving forward. Sure. Um, you know, you're probably tired of hearing me talk about this by now. We, you know, we started in the fall with surveys to our, our staff, our students, our community, our parents. Um, I conducted listening sessions from August through December. Um, and then over the month of February, we had three focus groups with parent and community members involved. You know, and I was really happy with the turnout. I think we got a lot of insight and a lot of great feedback from those sessions. We're conducting two more next week, on the week of March the 6th. We're going to have a teacher focus group. We're also going to have a, a student focus group. And, uh, you know, I, I can't wait to see all the feedback and hear about the feedback from those groups as well. And then we're going to take all that information. Um, Epic Impact, the company we're contracting with, is going to put it in an organized fashion give it back to us and then we're actually going to have an internal writing team who's actually going to begin writing the strategic plan based on all of this feedback. So, you know, I'm excited about the process. I'm excited about where it's going to take us and, and looking forward to the next five years of work. Well, that's fantastic, Mr. Phillips, and great to hear all the work that's going on behind the scenes there with the strategic planning. So uh, this week, uh, we got a little bit of a uh, touch of the warm weather. We felt spring a little bit this week, and I know the baseball and softball teams were able to get outside and get some practice in. Uh, so we're excited about spring coming, but uh, what that means is, is winter sports are coming to a close. And so uh, as we look back on those winter sports, it was really a banner year for all of our sports, whether boys basketball, girls basketball, uh, the bowling teams and the wrestling team. Uh, really, everyone had uh, quite a bit of success. So I did get a chance to catch up with uh, Athletic Director Greg Huster uh, to talk about some of those accolades that, uh, that the teams wrapped up. So let's take a look at that. Well, I'm joined now by uh, Athletic Director Greg Huster. Thanks for joining us today, Greg. Great to have you here. And uh, so, Greg, uh, winter sports are coming to a close, and uh, obviously we're excited about what's going on. So uh, start with uh, wherever you want. Start with the bowling team. Tell me a little bit about their season. So bowling, we have guys and girls bowling. Um, we also have the CHL uh, Coach of the Year and Rob Myros. 
he won uh, he won coach of the year uh, for the boys bowling we had a uh, first team will Malley and Chelsea Hammer was actually first team for the girls mm -hmm. um, we also had a couple second teamers Eric Hamilton and Christian CK mm -hmm. he uh, they were two boys that were that were uh, second team honorable mention uh, for our for our team Cassidy Russell Gamble um, Lillian Anderson Kern Houston so we had a strong showing from our from our bowling team our boys won the CHL this year uh, the girls finished in second place it was a tight race uh, both of them qualified for districts um, so yeah we were impressed it was an inaugural season of CHL bowling and to take home a championship was nice very nice awesome uh, and then uh, we know the uh, girls basketball team uh, new head coach Tom Fokey his first year this year uh, and he puts together one of the most successful seasons in school history so tell us a little bit about them yeah uh, most win we've ever had here at Deer Park with the girls with the girls uh, basketball team um, he also had several players that were really good. Uh, and he had a first teamer in Tori Mackey. Uh, she was really good, especially you know shooting three pointers. She was an outside shot. Um, in second team, he had Maggie Burton. And then we showed up on the honorable mention: uh, Destiny Carmichael and Janae Rose, who's young, only a freshman, to be up to you know to already be an honorable mention. Um, they've made great, great strides in that program. Um, and, and it's Tom, and then he also has Ashley Fletcher coaching there. Uh, his daughter helps out with the team too, Holly, and then Bruce Tabor uh, has done a great job. Those, the, that coaching staff in general has just been really, really good. So we're definitely excited about a, a, a great future for that team mm -hmm. as, uh, as Coach Fokey takes the reins. So, uh, and then we move on to the wrestling squad. Mm -hmm. And uh, wrestling, uh, we had a qualifier, which is uh, we're still competing. Yes. So it's, it's a little later now, and we still have one in the mix. So, um, you know, you just go until... You know, you hope there's only going to be one person happy at the end of the thing, and that's the winner. But uh, Darren Hickey has qualified for districts, which is Friday and Saturday, and that's that's at Troy. Um, so tremendous, tremendous guy. He's a, he's he's um, he's the mid one of the midweights, uh, but just a, a good year for 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 wrestling, and just to see somebody go on and qualify and keep moving has been great. Well, and then to kind of wrap things up today, obviously, uh, if you watch the news, uh, you've seen our basketball team once or twice. The boys' basketball team uh, finished the first undefeated season in uh, school history, to my knowledge. Um, and so just tell me a little bit about what's going on with them as, as they continue to play now here, too. Uh, the, tremendous job. Uh, Coach of the year, Steve Gentry. Uh, was, that, was, that was awesome to see him be able to get that. Um, and several, several players came up big. Um, first team, Damani McIntyre and uh, Mark Wise in the CHL and second team Jalen Rose and Stephen Stephen Gentry his son came up and then we had you know honorable mention at that too uh, Ibrahima Athi and we had uh, Joe Hawker uh, they've done a great job actually they play uh, tonight against St. Bernard and then if they can and survive in advance as you say uh, March 2nd they'll play again at Princeton at 6 p.m. Well, we're definitely looking forward to that, and uh, you know they've gotten some hardware already, but we're definitely hoping to to bring that big one home uh, up there in Columbus. So, uh, thanks for joining us, Greg. Uh, we appreciate you coming in, and uh, we'll catch up with you again in the spring uh, to check on our uh, on our spring sports. So, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Well, that's great to hear from uh, Greg, and and really just we want to congratulate everybody uh, in those winter sports for just wonderful, tremendous seasons Absolutely. this year. Absolutely, we hope that that winter sports season continues for uh, at least a few more weeks. Yeah, we'll basketball. we'll hope we hold on for just a little bit longer. So um, now. As we kind of get into this spring season, it means the third quarter is coming to a close. Uh, that closes next week. Uh, but starting today, actually, Mr. Phillips, uh, we start conferences. And so conferences are running for today and tomorrow. Um, and so uh, one specific thing that's going on over at the junior senior high school is our Beyond Deer Park conferences. So walk right. us through conferences and then talk more about Deer Park, Beyond Deer Park. Sure. You know, first, I encourage all the families to attend conferences from, from kindergarten all the way through uh, seniors. You know, it's a great time to connect with your teachers to really plug into what's happening in the classroom and, and get some advice from teachers about how to support your kids outside the classroom. I'm really excited about the, the, the relaunch of our college and career readiness meetings at the junior senior high. You know, through my listening sessions in the fall, uh, some of the feedback that I got uh, time and time again was about preparing our kids uh, for college and not necessarily um, ab about content, but more about, you know, 
help them decide what schools they want to go to, um, what they want to major in. Are you having those conversations? And, you know, we've been having those conversations and having our college and career readiness meetings over the uh, last four years, but I really felt like this was an opportunity to rebrand it, do a few things differently, um, and offer some sessions also to help support families a as a whole. You know, the conferences themselves, kids are going to be leading the conferences along with their uh, CCR teachers. And, and they're going to be talking to parents about what are those three, four, and five-year plans. Where do they want to go and how do they plan on getting there? Um, and I'm also excited, as I mentioned, about some of the sessions we're going to offer uh, specifically tonight. Um, you know, we're going to have sessions on College Credit Plus. Uh, we'll have some representatives from universities. Cincinnati State will be here. Um, we're going to talk about uh, career academies as well. We're going to have a session on our Advanced Manufacturing Career Academy that we plan to launch next year. We're partnering with Monty Manufacturing out of Norwood, and uh, we're, we're writing the curriculum as we speak. And it's a very exciting time uh, for Deer Park and the Deer Park Career Academies. We're also going to have a, a, a session on school safety. Um, obviously, what, it's, a, it's a very hot-button topic right now. Um, with the tragedy that happened down in Parkland, Florida. And, and you know, you can never be overprepared. And we're doing a lot of things uh, to be proactive, to make sure uh, in the event that a crisis ever hit here um, that our staff and our students know what to do. Um, but we're going to have a session on, on student safety and talk to the parents about what we are currently doing to be proactive in those areas. Um, and then, you know, we're also going to have a, a session on graduation requirements. For the last three to four years, Graduation requirements have changed. Uh, the Ohio Department of Education have, has put out different requirements that you know, change what our kids have to do ever so slightly. So we just want to make sure that everybody is on the same page uh, when it comes to graduation requirements and what their kids are required to do. Uh, and, and lastly, I think this is going to be a great addition, but we're going to offer a family dinner. So we're going to have a taco bar that's going to start at 5.30 p.m. And, you know, families are welcome to come and enjoy the taco bar at no charge. Uh, but, you know, we just, we're trying to do things to make sure we get all of our families in the door because we think these conferences are, are very important. And it's, it's really good information for our, our parents and, and also our students and, and our teachers to be able to present this information to our parents. So we're excited about it and looking forward to it. Absolutely. So uh, thanks for uh, thanks for that information. And that's going to wrap things up now for Episode 7 of Podcast in the Park. Thanks to everyone for tuning in, and uh, we hope you like the new format. So I want to thank Greg Huster for popping by to talk with us, uh, first of all. And thank you to you, as always, Mr. Phillips. Uh, we will see you next month. And as always, go Wildcats.